Marcy makes this espresso every morning. He has this, he has this contraption of an espresso machine right here. Espresso? Yeah, so Narcy taught me how to how to make espresso yesterday, the, the professional way. So I'm doing a hands off the wheel right now. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> hands are totally hands are totally off here. Whatever happens, he's drinking it and he's gonna like it. Actually he might not like it. <laughs> You're making me nervous. Now my hands are shaking. So you gotta you gotta twist it. Well, you know, the worst you can do is uh <laughs> espresso machine up, so don't worry about it. Oh damn it, we can't put that on YouTube. <laughs> I just put a dog barking noise over the works. <laughs> when, I, when, I, when I say I'll put a dog barking noise over the word <laughs> Now I know what this lever does. Huh? About a about a smidge of smidge of milk in here. <laughs> so they so at the same time you can uh, do that at the same time. Boy. And make Don't, sure it's not getting too I, hot. I can do it. Okay, that was that, 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 that my one uh, my one phone friend. You're gonna kill Three, your milk. Turn it <laughs> With the foam. Perfecto. Espresso on the espresso. <laughs> Thank you, Narcy. Thank you. Sorry, it was a privilege to watch you make coffee for yourself. <laughs> Excuse me. Would you like to try Ryan's first cup of espresso? I would not. Thanks, so. <laughs> though. So I know, like anybody who's done overlanding or van life or anything basically has iOverlander, but those of you who are possibly new to it, I, that app is, honestly, I most people couldn't function, and even myself included, couldn't function as nomads, digital nomads without that map. It has, it's pretty, it's pretty awesome. And I know the Van Life app is uh, revamping, so they'll, uh, they'll probably have something similar to that, or maybe probably better than that coming up in the next couple months, so keep an eye out for the Van Life app. It's a, uh, it's gonna be good here in a little bit. I'm just gonna look at all of them. Cabo Surf Safari. That's a camp spot. Downtown location. Ooh. Se fotos. Wow. Damn. 20 bucks a night. Ooh. Where is it? Right in like downtown Cabo. Guys, I just met my first YouTube fans. It's us! <laughs> yeah. We're the number one. Watched yeah. them before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They've never seen any of my videos. My feelings aren't hurt. Whatever. I don't care. It's still. It's a badass Chevy Astro. They're they're traveling. Like, didn't you guys say that you guys are like traveling on a complete whim or something? Yeah. 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 We badass. made no plans. That's we badass. bought our books in LA and then we drove over the border. They're cooler than me when I was 21. <laughs> so, so, yeah. And now you're gonna be in my YouTube video. Yeah, we're, yeah. we're influencers, we're here. Yeah, Fans. yeah. And I'll tag your Instagram so everyone will follow you and, and think you're cool. Uh, yeah. Made it to Cabo, and we both freaking hate it. <laughs> it's just like resorts, and everyone's trying to take their money, and it's just crowded. It's everything I don't like about like traveling. I like, I don't know. So we're doing what I've been waiting to do for such a long time: go to Costco. <laughs> this is the only Costco in Baja or Baja Sur. So uh, I don't know about you guys, but I'm shaking. This cart's so big and she's so small. <laughs> it makes her look like a little kid. <laughs> you still like Cabo? No, Cabo's okay. So, 
I think we jumped the gun a little bit on hating Cabo yesterday. Uh, just getting to the beach and it's just being full of resorts and like just kind of like screaming kids everywhere. It just it was kind of like a little nerve wracking. It was excessive. It, and I could tell that Sydney had been getting like burnt out of bus life because we've essentially been living on the beach out of our vehicles for the last like month or so. So I think we both needed kind of a break, some air conditioning, the pubs needed a break. So I was able to find a hotel that allowed pets for an ad additional fee. So we've got, you won't be able to see them right now, but that one. Yeah, that room right there is mm -hmm. ours, and you'll see Oshi pop his head out here and there and come check on us. So we have the pups and air conditioning hanging out, and we're just kind of enjoying the, uh, the it's sunshine. It's also about 10 to 15 degrees hotter in Cabo than it was in Toto Santos. Yeah, it was an hour drive, and it literally went from 75 degrees to like 93 degrees. Está muy bueno. Está muy bueno. Okay, so big couple days. Um, last time I filmed, it was Wednesday night. Uh, it is now Saturday morning. So I'm trying to, I'll do my best to recap where I've been the last three days or four days. The reason I wasn't filming was because I lost my GoPro. I couldn't find it the last couple days. So I thought it was just lost. And now I'm back in Cabo San Lucas right now. And I went back to the hotel and just as like a sheer like, prayer like please i went and talked to the bar they said they they found it there like a couple days prior and so now i have my gopro back so it's awesome that they had it but it definitely scared the bejesus out of me because it had my sd card with everything on it and i was super bummed except i lost it but it just kind of sucked uh, the second thing that happened was my laptop broke from uh my work laptop so i talked i contacted the it support for my company and they overnighted me a laptop which they couldn't send to mexico so they had to send it to san diego so i had to cut my my trip with my little brother and sebastian short so what that means is that i uh, i spent the last two days with them in cabo pumo uh in a little like that little beach town uh i just dropped them off at a rental car place they got their own car and they're gonna finish out their trip without me i have to book it north it's about a 20 hour drive and yeah, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna head north as fast as I possibly can. Uh, try to make it. Try to get my laptop and be ready for work on Monday morning. Uh, so yeah, I've got a lot of energy drinks and. It was good. So I'm very aware that I have not done any recording. So I'm gonna give you like a quick update of where I've been. So last you saw me, I was in Baja, Mexico. I made it down to Cabo. Basically things just kind of went south a little bit. Uh, as you know, I work full time. When I was down there, my work computer just bricked itself. It just stopped working out of nowhere. I didn't drop it. I didn't, no water got on it. Recording, I was, I was planning on kind of like, like recording the process of like crossing the border. I did none of it because it was just uh, as fast as I could. I made it back to the US. So yeah, now I'm back in San Diego and I guess it kind of all worked out because right as I made it back to San Diego, uh, Tiny Fest was starting. So it's basically a festival that some of my friends put on. Uh, 
where people can showcase not only their vans, but all types of like tiny homes. You can see all the shenanigans going on. And my friends asked me to showcase my van. So I got my van set up in the back over here. I got it all, got it all cleaned up. Um, yeah, people just come by and just ask questions and stuff. I think Reese did a better job of uh, setting all their stuff up. There he is. Representing the, the Seeker app. How you doing? Yeah. 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 I know you know me already, but hi, it's Alex from the Adventuring Griggs. The Griggs are back. Yeah, also, check out the new Seeker van. Uh, if you're wondering what Seeker is, it's the formerly the Van Life app. We just rebranded to Seeker. Uh, so if you're using us already, don't freak out. Your phone can say Seeker now. And if you don't have us already, you should definitely get us. If you're a traveler at all, we're trying to make it easier for people to get on the road, safer to be on the road and more accessible. So jump on in. We have great resources and a great community like this guy. I'm not a great community. I'm the trash community. But also, I should be getting paid for that, for that sponsorship right there. You don't there. get paid for anything. You don't give me for anything. No. <laughs> I'm elevating his channel right now. Don't don't let him fool you. As if no one knew what I was going through. I know you think I'm just pretending. Did you guys do all this like yourself? Like with yeah. your family? That I can't I'm impressed. To move on and on and on to someone new. Isn't how as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, it will seriously help me pay for a new drone. Rest in peace, that drone is gone. Follow Oceanized Adventures as we explore the Rockies next week.